Hello and welcome to Harvard Place. This week I am doing something that I've wanted to do for a long time, which is play a JRPG on a Let's Play. Now, that being said, I know that most JRPGs aren't very fun to watch, they're not very interesting, there's a lot of grinding, and so this, this is my compromise, right? This game is not really a JRPG, but it is based a lot on that style of design, and so it's made for fans of JRPGs. It's, oh, it's very meta, it's very fun. The premise is that you're at the end of what is a traditional JRPG story, and you kind of have to work backwards and remember how the story was pieced together. And I think it's, it's really interesting for me because it, it describes the way that I play these role-playing games really well. But enough of that, let's just jump right in. Okay, so we've got a few nice intro slides. Damn it, let us out, we're innocent, man. You have both fought splendid battles. It's always coldest and darkest before the dawn, but the fact is... Science and magic are powerful. They can be used to create good but also evil. I feel power radiating from the blade. It's filled with holy energy. Cherish your memories. We're made from the past. I've got nothing to say to you. I'm leaving. You only get sad because you have memories. So that's a few cryptic scenes. And now we've got our intro monologue. Memories, proof of a life lived. Piling up the countless memories, I became myself, she became herself. We are made by our memories of one another. But that was, the memories that flashed before my eyes, when did they happen? You only get sad because you have memories. When you said that, you, wait, who said that to me? And now we have one of the coolest sprites I've ever seen. Look at this Demon King, it's so metal. Huh? Thank you for coming all this way. Allow me to extend to you my personal appreciation for making it all the way here. H who are you? Who, you say? <laughs> A joker to the last. Now come, feast your eyes on me, and know that I am your king. What? what? What's going on? And so here we have the setup of this game, We've, we're fighting the Demon King, we've got this little time-lapsed thing on the top left, which is how many seconds the game's been, I'm just gonna move my face. And the premise is that we've got five minutes before the Demon King destroys us all, and we've got to figure out how to beat this guy. So there's our friend Regent. Flash, why are you just standing there? We made it to the Demon King. Huh? Demon King? Why are we in front of a Demon King? And our other party member, Yuzu? I... wait, Flash, are you serious right now? Could it be because of the fog? There's Clover, our third party member. Are you serious? You can't ask that now. We've been on a quest to defeat this guy the whole time. I don't know for sure, but if it's not the fog, it might be the Demon King's malice. Fog? Malice? What the hell? What are you all talking about? And more importantly, where am I? Are they serious about this Demon King thing? And they said something about fog and malice. Is that the reason I don't know what's going on? Or is it... amnesia? Is that even possible? I gotta calm down. If I really have amnesia, then does that mean I don't even know my name? Can't be, right? I know that. My name is... Flash. Flashback. <laughs> Such a subtle joke we got there. This is a great soundtrack too, it's real rockin'. I'm 17 years old. I haven't had my birthday yet, so if it was my birthday, I would be 18. Alright, I'm remembering. I'll be fine. I don't have an amnesia. Okay, next. How do I get here? Um, I think I... Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Hey, come on. Someone, please, tell me it's not true. Some... No good, I can't remember. How I even got here? What have I been doing up until now? How did I get here? Where did all my awesome memories go? I'm getting chills. I never realized how terrifying it is to not remember who you are. Anything. Can I remember anything? Why can't I remember? Damn it. Why? Why? It was five seconds past now. My head was spinning, and that's when it hit me. Is this what they call despair? But I was wrong about that. True despair was yet to come. Here he comes. 
This next blow may finish you off, so savor it. Barely does any damage to us. <laughs> does like a an eighth of our HP. Oh, seems as though you were not damaged so severely. That explains how you made it all the way here. It seems as though I underestimated you. Cough. Why? Why? Why is this happening? Flash. Flash can't fight the Demon King like this? Son of a... Flash, stop messing around! I don't know how much you forgot, but I'll help you remember. You are a hero. You are a hero, everyone knows that. A hero? Yeah, that's right. We've been on a quest to defeat the Demon King, and we finally reached him. If we beat him, our quest is over, and the world will be at peace again. Now, do you recognize me? Try to say my name. <laughs> and we get up one of our first, uh... Visual novel choices here, we can either say correctly his name's Regent, or we can just be like, I don't know. And, I don't know. You don't know? Are you serious right now? It's Regent, you idiot. Look, do you remember the names of these two girls? And again, we can do the same. I can say, I don't remember. I, I don't remember. No, hold on a sec. And now we have the first of our many flashbacks. We jump straight back in time. You can see that we're around level 6 in our RPG. Alright, that's it for the shopping. Come on, Clover, let's go. W wait for me, Yuzu, don't leave me. And there's this little tiny vignette, and <laughs> you get this little scene. It's like, it asks straight out of Phoenix Wright. That's right, I remember. And their names are Clover and Yuzu. That's right, you do remember. Looks like you've still got some of your memories. Do you remember the name of the town we just left? The town? Do you remember your signature move? My, my signature move? What was my signature move? Oh, come on, are you serious? You don't even remember your own signature move? Okay, then, what about that place I said I would live when this is all over? What about the hot springs incident? And that thing that happened at the casino? And that demon we fought at the top of the tower? And what animal was that amusement park mascot based on? Uh, uh, uh I... I can't. Those sound like such fun memories. The casino, hot springs, amusement park. But I can't remember any of them. By the look on your face, I guess you forgot. Memories, huh? Flash's memories. I don't know what caused it, but it seemed as though they've been completely erased. Completely erased? What are you talking about? This can't be. I don't know for sure, but that would explain it. Flash's memories are gone. I don't know if he forgot or if they were wiped, but it's clear that this is why Flash cannot fight. Why can't he fight? Fighting doesn't require memories. Do you really think he can fight at his full strength if he doesn't know, even know why he's here? Ah, oh, that is true. You see? So basically, if Flash can't remember, then we can't... No, 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 that can't be. Hey Flash, if this is for real, then what about... What's the name of our hometown? The name of our hometown. Are you saying you don't know? Name... Hometown. Calm down, Flash. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. Yeah, let's just remember them one at a time. Our hometown, our families, everything that's happened up until now. And there's 23 seconds off our final battle, and we flash straight back to the very beginning of our story. Where Flash is meeting his mother. Good morning, Flash. Today's the day you go off on your quest. Well, you've wanted to be a hero since you were a little boy. Now look at you. Oh, I just can't believe it. You've worked so hard. Now you take care of yourself. Make sure you eat. I'll be supporting you, sweetie. You should go pick up your friends. I'm sure they'd love to come with you. Clover, Yuzu, Regent. I think they should still be home. Oh, you make sure to say goodbye to Chloe, Yanagi, and Kogure. You've been friends since you were kids, so you know they always worry about you. Oh, but you already know that, of course. My big 17-year-old boy. Don't worry about your father and me. Be careful and have a safe trip. And so, we begin our weird pretense. I always thought that this opening town looks a lot like the first town in Pokemon games, where you got the little villages splayed around, but what do I know? And the premise of this title is, to me, just the most interesting thing, right? I think everyone goes through this situation where they, they pick up a really big RPG, they play for about 30 to 40 hours, they get really well versed in the story, and for whatever reason, you know, life happens, or you find something else, and you just stop. 
and you come back to it a few months later, maybe even a few years later, and you just don't remember, right? You're at the final boss, you're like, I don't know who I'm fighting, I don't know how to play this game, I don't know what skills are good, I don't know what my signature move is, and so it's really parodying that sensation of RPGs where you've got this big epic quest and then you just forget it all. And you get the benefit of walking around and re-meeting your party members for the first time and getting a grasp of this really meta, non-linear story. Anyways, let's just go find our party members. Here's Clover. Good, good. Idiot. up. Alright, Grandma and Grandpa, I'm off. Please take good care of them while I'm gone. Sure, Clover, leave it to us. Be careful and have a safe trip. You come home safe, alright? Yes, thank you. You two take care of yourselves too, Grandma and Grandpa. Oh, Flash, you came for me? Thank you. This will be a long trip, but let's make a good one, okay? What was that? Clover joined the party, and we see that she's taking care of a pet dog and two cats. And just to clarify, you can pet the dogs and cats in this game. So let's keep finding our other party members. I don't actually remember which house is which. Ironically, this is one of those games where I played for a bunch and then I stopped before I got to the ending and now I've forgotten most of it. This is your uncle. Oh, Flash, hello. You may have had, you may have some rough times ahead of you, but I'll be praying a quest goes well. Flash, you're leaving, right? Hmm. Such a strange feeling. I've watched you since you were a boy, so I'm just as worried about you as your mother. I've heard there are a lot of demons outside, so you be careful. I'll be rooting for you. It's generic starting town dialogue, right? This is Kogre's father, alright. Today's the day your adventure begins. Today I'm just a farmer, but back in the day I was a ninja called Speed of Sound Shikure. <laughs> I travelled all over the world, makes me feel nostalgic. I was born in the city of samurai and ninjas, Tenmagahara. A city with pure, clean water and sacred items like temples and altars. It might be a good place to visit if you want to stop by during your quest. Oh yes, my son is inside the house. It's unfortunate how he's grown up a bit of a coward. I don't know what to do about that boy. Will you go say hi to him? Anyway, I wish you luck in your journey. And there's just lots of jokes here being made at the expense of the whole RPG genre. It's I have this horrible ingrained habit of just checking every single shelf and pot as well in case there's items. It doesn't matter in this game because your items don't carry over between flashbacks, but it's too ingrained in me at this point. Okay, so let's talk to this guy. Ah, who's there? <laughs> The sprite mark for this game is so good, by the way. Look at this guy's scared face. Oh, it's just you, Flash. Don't scare me like that. Huh? You wanted to say goodbye? Oh, you didn't have to personally tell me. Thanks, that makes me really happy. I gotta say, I admire you. You know, it's going to be dangerous out there, but you go anyway. Aren't you scared? I just can't believe it. Don't die, okay? You get back safe and sound. I'll be praying for you. Huh? No, wait, wait. Are you... Are you asking me to come with you? And you've got a choice here. I can say yeah. Let's, let's come with us, yeah? I could use a ninja. Oh really? You want me to come with you? Well, I am a ninja. I, I guess I could help out. Oh, I just remembered. I have a, whole, <laughs> have a horrible allergy to quests. That's true. That's true. Look, see, there's no way I can go. Oh man, what a bummer. That's how it is. Sorry. Great guy. Excellent character. I think we'll be seeing more of him. So there's item shop. I don't think you need to buy anything. Yanagi's father, welcome, welcome to the world of the best tool shop, Musashibo. Oh, why if it isn't your flash? Weren't you heading off today? Ah, perfect timing, here's a gift from me. Yanagi's father offered some medicinal herbs. I really wanted Yanagi to go with you guys, but he says that now he's done being a soldier, he wants to take over the business. I told him not to worry about that and do what he wants to do, but he told me he wants me to take it easy, and it's been working for me ever since. Ah, can you believe that? I burst into tears. Of course, I wouldn't let him do all my work for me. I'm not that old yet. So Flash, if you ever need my boy for anything, you just ask. He won't be up. He was a talented soldier and is a good merchant. My son would love to help. You know, the writing in this game is a lot better than you would expect for a throwaway comedy visual novel. So here is Yanagi. Hey Flash, you're taking off today, huh? Ever since you were a kid, you wanted to be a hero, and now here you are on a quest. That's amazing, I really admire you. I wanted to go with you guys, but as you can see, the business gets me pretty busy. I want my dad to take it easy, so I'm trying to take care of more of the workload. I travel the world to buy and sell goods, so we might run into each other, huh? I'll look forward to seeing you on the road. I'm rooting for you. And this is the explanation as to why the merchant on your 
journeys are always the same, right? The same guy appears over and over. And that's one of the tropes I really like about RPGs. Okay, let's use this model. Oh, Flash, hello. I thought you were leaving on your quest today. Yuzu was going with you, right? She left before I got up. I haven't seen her since. The bags she packed last night are still here, though. What could she possibly be up to? Gotta find all our party members. And it's nice, because it gives us this little introduction to who they are, and we get more used to them as the game goes on. Whoops, this is my house. Let's skip that. Uh, who's this? Chloe's assistant. Chloe got a doctorate before she was 18. She was a brilliant up-and-coming scientist. She was compelled by Sockwood's propensity for using magic to enrich people's lives. Currently, she's working on magical railways and expanding the magic broadcast network. Now that I think about it, I remember Chloe's grandmother being a famous scholar. I don't know where she is now, but I would love to meet her someday. It, they're very tropey characters, you know? You've definitely met these guys before in some other game. Oh, Flash. Right. You're leaving today. I'm right in the middle of some magic research, so I can't go with you. But I promise that you'll be the first to know when my research becomes successful. Remember to eat and sleep. This is vital for your energy reserves. Of course, we don't need to worry about that at all. We, you know we recover energy by taking potions, and who sleeps in an RPG, right? When does that ever happen? Okay, here's Regent's house. Hey, Regent, you're going on a journey dressed like that? Are you trying to shame your magic ancestry? You bring dishonor to the name of Night Fever. Oh, can it, Dad? I told you, I don't want to be a wizard. As a traveling bard, I'm going to put my soul into my music and rock the world. I, I forgot how much I love this character. His parents wanted him to follow in the family family trade of being wizards, and he wants to be a rock star. <laughs> so good. A bard? I won't tolerate such foolishness. How do you plan on making a living with music? Mom, that's why I have to do a world tour. I can make good money if I reach enough people. Oh, well, it all makes sense then. How is reaching people going to get you paid? No, Mom, I can sell my song to producers. There are lots of ways to make money. How much money can you earn from that, huh? If you become a wizard, you're set for life. Oh, you are such a good child. When did you start acting up? Regent, I understand how you feel. I do. If you really want to be a bard, then you go be a bard. But I just can't have you walking around like that. Wear this robe instead. No way. A bard would never take the stage dressed up like that. Just watch me, Mum and Dad. I'll become the best bard in the world. That's <laughs> so good. Oh, hey, Flash. You gonna get me? Sorry, man. I gotta get out of here. I'll be waiting for you at the village exit. When you're ready to go meet me there, I'll be waiting for you. Yeah, it's so funny. I love that parody of like the, the doctors that want their kid to be a doctor and the kid just wants to be a rock star. But it's like a, a fantasy touch to it. Okay, I think this is an empty house. Let me poke around some pots and let's get out of here. I genuinely can't remember if the pots are useful in this game or not. And here we've got Yuzu, the last member of a party. Oh, Flash. Sorry, were you looking for me? I was just, you know, doing some thinking here. We used to come here all the time to play. Do you remember that? But now that we're all grown up, we don't play here anymore. I've been doing a lot of training here. I wanted to be strong. So this place holds a lot of memories for me. You achieved your dream of becoming a hero. I'm glad that I get to be a member of the Heroes Party. Now let's do this formally. I look forward to working with you. You to join the party. Oh, that's right. I left my bags in my house. Sorry, Flash. Can we go get my stuff before you leave? Okay, so we've got to go back to Yuzu's house, which I think is this one. No. My memory's really bad. I think it's this one. Yeah. Where have you been? You're going on a journey today. I just needed to get my thoughts together. I had to mentally prepare myself. So I see. So are you prepared? Yep, completely. I see. That's good then. Here, take this bento and the bags you packed last night. Thanks, Mom. Do your best, but don't push yourself too hard. If you get tired, you can come home. I'll be praying that your quest goes well. So Yuzu is kind of like the the monk of you know, the party. She's like the Tifa of this game. Clover is of course your generic blue haired healer mage, and of course Regent Shabbat. And we can talk to him and get going. Oh Flash, you ready? All oh, right, everyone's here, right? Well then, let's go. Wait, Regent, why are you the leader? Oh, relax. Don't be so uptight. So anyway, uh, where are we going in? To meet the king in Stockwood to say our greeting for our quest. Oh, right, right, that. Well then, let's go. Ah, uh, you never take things seriously. I'm worried about our future. And that's how this journey started.
At the end of every memory, you get XP for what you did. Let's move my face away. Uh, and the funny thing is, depending on what kinds of extra stuff you did, you get a bit of extra XP. And that, I think, makes you stronger for the final fight. Well, I also don't really remember. It's kind of like a score. Anyways, we talked to all the three side characters before we left, so we get an extra 150 XP. And we level up. Flash's memory was revised. We get re-experience. So we get our stats back, effectively. And back to the future, would we like to save? Let's save. The game's not super long. I, I think it's maybe about 15 or so hours. But it feels longer because the plot's pretty complicated. That's right, I remember. I have no place to put my face in this game. It's... Huh. So we're back at the Demon King boss fight. Our hometown, Souvenir. I love that it's called Souvenir. I the hero left Souvenir to go on a quest. Oh, that's right, you remember now? Then what about that place I mentioned? When I, where I said I wanted to live after all of this? No, not yet. It's okay, calm down, Flash. Let's remember one thing at a time. We'll be able to remember everything soon. Everything that's happened. Why we're all here. I know it's hard, but you have to remember, Flash. We'll get stronger with each memory. Yeah, that's right. And we'll keep the Demon King busy until you remember everything. Guess we don't got a choice. Some hero you are, eh, Flash? <laughs> Finish your strategy meeting? Hmm, here you are in the midst of battle, huddling up and whispering to one another. Are you that desperate to die? Oh, shut up, you'll pay for this. Everybody ready? You don't have to tell me twice. We'll defeat him for sure. <laughs> How interesting. I tell you to try and slay me. Everything that follows all happened within five minutes. A long, long... Well, to me, it felt like a long time. Quest is supposed to end at the final boss, but this time, at the very end, another quest begins. A quest through my memories, to figure out who I am. So someone, please, tell this fool what to do. Tell me what to do when you lose your memories during our final battle with the Demon King. And there's the title, The Longest Five Minutes. I think I was put off by this game first when I saw it on the eShop because I was a bit worried it was going to be too gimmicky. It would just actually be like a five minute boss battle that you do over and over again. But it's so much more than that. But it's also like definitely not an RPG. It is a visual novel, but it uses a lot of RPG mechanics to push a story forward. As we left Souvenir on our journey, we visited Stockwood to greet the king and receive our quests. It's very classic JRPG fair here. This town is so lively, it's so much fun, I'm getting so excited. There's a train station and a bunch of shops, it's so different from Souvenir. Well of course it is, this is the heart of the whole continent. I think you're getting a little too excited, we came in to talk to the king, you know? But you went off a bunch of detours, except shopping around and walking around and stuff. You were doing the exact same thing. Come on, we're both excited here. I guess we got a bit distracted. We should probably go to the king now. Alright, let's group up and go meet the king. And you'll notice that this is actually the, the same place as the moment where you remembered who used one clover are. The game is really good with keeping these locations consistent. Okay, so if you want to go, if you want to look back at memories, press the X button to find the memory album. Lower levels were in the past, higher levels are more recent. Now you know what you did. If you push the Y button, you can change the order of memories. I don't really remember what that means, but you can see what your quest's goals are. So this is what's going to really earn you the XP after your, after this episode. You want to travel through the moss-covered cave, resolve the soldier's argument, deliver something for the forgetful maid. Uh, L will just restore all your health completely using your character skills. It's super useful and I can't believe that more RPGs don't have that. And you've got your equipment which doesn't actually matter because you, it changes across episodes. You've got magic which, yeah, pretty self-explanatory. You've got items, everyone's equipment, your status. It The game goes through a lot to, to convince you that it is an RPG. And I think the problem it had with some reviewers is that reviewers weren't expecting an RPG and they thought it was really shallow because it doesn't have that epic quality that a lot of JRPGs are meant to have. But it's also just not that kind of game at all. Anyways, we can go to the memory album, and this is really kind of like your visual novel... pages... Oh, I don't really know what to call it. Your visual novel episodes 
timeline, right? And you can go back and change your choices and get more EXP, and you can change what ending you get in the end, uh, later in the game. Alright, so, we gotta go talk to everyone just like in a normal game. So I went to the bar for the first time, I'm really shy, I was scared to go inside, so I walked past the bar a couple of times. I'm scared of these kinds of places, with strangers talking to you and stuff. Oh, that's really relatable. It's like the first time I went to a bar. Okay, old man, let me give you a bit of advice from an old man before you start your quest. From this point on, you will face difficult decisions. When you find yourself stuck, it doesn't matter. That's all from me. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Great advice. <laughs> you going on a quest here? Good luck to you. Oh no, I don't have anything to offer you. Oh, would you like some pickled vegetables? I made them. Oh, not right now? Well, of course, silly me. Pickled vegetables for a journey. Yeah, this is uh, a lot of in-town dialogue, which is interesting, right? Because there's a surprising amount of world building here. I'll tell you a little secret. Promise you won't tell anybody? I promise. <laughs> Good boy, then I'll tell you. If you use herbs, you recover HP. Oh, you already knew that? You're so cool. <laughs> little turnips and carrots on the table. I think you actually can buy stuff. So you have gold, you can buy items. It doesn't really matter. You can actually get equipment too. So let's grab a few glass rings. I'm, poten I'm potentially doing the wrong thing. I can't remember exactly how you can play this game. But let's just play it as if it was a regular GRPG, you know? Let's see what's in the weapon shop. We, of course, don't have enough uh, money to deal with everything here. Let's grab a metal sword for flash. And there is combat. There's gonna be some combat, I'm pretty sure, in this episode. Where did this do? So Flash is now wielding a metal sword. Let's go a bit more attack. I'm probably just gonna skip him. I'm not gonna talk to everybody. But I do want to do the side quests. So we need to travel through the moss covered cave, resolve the soldier's argument, and deliver something for the forgetful maid. We're looking for soldiers, and we're looking for a maid. Well, there's a bunny. I don't know if that counts as a maid. Oh, hello, young hero. You're going on a train to start your quest? That's amazing. So exciting. You're so reliable, but you'll make all the girls back home feel safe. Good luck. It's not really us. Old man, it's been years since Steven's appeared. Soon we won't be able to walk outside. So let's skip all of that. Hey you, just because you're a hero doesn't mean you can just barge into my house. Get out, get out, this is my castle. <laughs> There's just random people here. Oh, it's the hero and his friends. Want some fish? Freshly caught. This general world building. When you're venturing into your memories, keep this in mind. The items and money you obtain in a memory cannot be used in a different memory. You can only use them in this, in the same memory, so you don't need to conserve everything. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, so it doesn't carry over. Grandpa, oh hey there, little young one, press the L button to see the world map. Isn't that nice? I want to see the, world, the map. I wonder where the L button is. So, wow, it's a big world map. This doesn't matter at all, but it's just nice world building. It's like everything else here. Okay, I think that's enough messing around. Let's go see the king. This is the Venerable Stockwood Castle. Magic is highly respected in our land. So, magic is kind of like the, the... the medicine of this world, right? It's like a respected career. Gastonbury is a military superpower, being by far the strongest in the world. But they, now they've gone dark, I wonder what happened. There's actually a lot of lore in this game that's significant for the later half of it. So it's good to kind of go by everyone and brush up what everything is. For the interest of time, I'm just not going to, so on your playthrough, you can feel free to do that if you want. And I love that in this game, the backstory is kind of like trains are magical inventions, and they're very recent. There are many things in this world that were created by magic. For example, Funky Fire Railroad uses fire magic as a power source. The magic broadcast system was developed from researching snow and ice magic. We continue our research every day so the people of Southwood may live productive lives. And there's a few different ways to go. This room is for training soldiers. If you head down the stairs to the dungeons, soldiers in the back of the training area can explain all about conditions in battle. You might already know about that, being that you're a hero, but if you like it, over. Uh, I mean, there is combat to a degree in this game. I told you, this isn't my spear. Oh, shut up, you're the one holding it. Of course it's yours. Hey guys, you see my spear? I haven't seen it since we got here. Now that I think about it, I left my spear at home. But here's one right here in my hand. Where did you get that? Check to see if it's yours. Oh, well, hello, hero. I'm sorry you caught us off guard there. We just ran into a little problem, you see. Please help us. 
Looks like we mix up, mix up the four of our spears. Could you figure out which one of us has my spear? You could listen to each of our testimonies and point out who has my spear. But since you're quite a busy person, you only have to help us once. Right or wrong will go with what you say. Please just spare a bit of time, of your time, hero. Should I explain? No. Okay, so this is a little logic puzzle here. It doesn't really matter that much. Let's start. So number four, my spear is gone. I don't even have one to hold. Help me find it, please. Number two, I forgot my spear at my house today, but uh, somehow I'm holding it right now. Number three, the spear I have right now has the name Quatra, so number four on it. And the spear I have isn't mine. That completes testimonies. Do you know what's my spear? Okay, maybe just one more time. So we know that number three has number four. Number four has somebody else's. Number two doesn't have their own. Okay, so let's start again. Number four... My spear is gone, I don't even have one to hold. And number three has number four. So someone else left theirs at home. Number two, I forgot my spear at my house today, but somehow I'm holding it right now. So he's taken someone else's spear. Number three, the spear I have right now has the name number four on it. So there's a number three spear that's owned by one of these two. And number one says, the spear I have isn't mine. That completes testimonies. Do you know who has my spear? It's number two. Because, well, just logic. <laughs> it's gonna take me too long to explain. Quattro has my spear. Troy says Quattro's spear. The spear I have isn't mine, which means... Number two has my spear. Yeah, it's gotta be right. Really? I had a feeling. It's just weird that you have, right, have one right now when you left yours at your house. You don't want to talk. The spear you're holding right now is mine. Oh my bad, now that you mention it, I think I actually broke my spear. But really? That doesn't mean you can just take one. I said it's my bad. Here you go. Man. Thank you so much, you helped us out. Sorry for bothering you when you're in a hurry. Have a safe journey. Okay, that was it. That gives you a bit of a re-experience, or whatever it's called. Re-education. It's actually dungeons down here. I don't know what that's for. Uh, is it lunch yet? No, I can't. I have to focus. Spears should be used with two hands. I wonder if lunch today is hamburger. No, I can't. I can't think about food. I have to focus. I want to eat hamburger. I said, no, focus, focus. Oh, I'm starving. No, oh, that's too relatable. Okay. As you can see, the dungeon is empty. Suck all to the peaceful nation, after all. I hope our luck continues and we never have to use the dungeon. Well, that's some foreshadowing right there. So we find the king. Let's just advance this plot. So someone ripped off an ad, but there's a piece left behind. I can make out the word hero. This is not the king's room at all. So, which way do I go? Oh, I follow the... the I almost said curtain, the carpet. Follow the carpet. Ah, the hero of Flash and his allies. So good of you to all come. But enough of the formalities. I want you to travel west to Gastonbury. Gastonbury is a large military nation that has recently been covered in fog and gone silent. So the backstory of this game is there's this weird fog that's doing stuff. You've all heard of this, correct? The evil fog that manifested itself? I have heard that this fog spawns demons, and that those surrounded by it do not survive. This will be a dangerous mission, but I require you to give me a full report of Gastonbury. The train at Stockwood Station will take you to the port. From there, cross the sea. And one final thing, this is crucial to our mission. Flash received a letter from the king. This was invented in Stockwood. It's a magic letter. Once you've reached Gastonbury, write your report on the table, and I will receive it. Heroes, Godspeed. So he basically gave us, us like a smartphone, but old magic-y smartphones. So let's hop on this train and away we go. This is Funky Fire Railroad, Stockwood Station. Oh, you are? The hero and company. The conductor is waiting, so check in with him when you're ready to go. This guy has got cool sunglasses. Oh, his name's MacArthur. Ooh, y'all must be the hero and company. We was waiting for you. I'm MacArthur, I'll be your driver. Nice to meet ya. I'm Benjamin. I am also a conductor. Benjamin is a bit stern, but he's not a bad guy. You'll get used to it. And this is Funky Fire Railroad. We're burning through the continents. We go straight from the port to Stockwood. No stations in between, non-stop service. And may I just say, it is an honor to have a hero on board. Now I'll light the engines. You just let me know when you're all ready, and we can hit the tracks. I like this guy already. Okay. So we could go by equipment, but why would we? So let's just get right going. Got some nice train tunes as well. And the cool thing is, if you use the world map, you can zoom out, and this is actually continue contiguous, so you can see it. Hey, 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 what in the world is that? Something hanging towards the side of that tunnel yonder. That's 
It's one of our old trains, it was decommissioned. What kind of crazy talk is that? Trains can't just spout legs and run off. Something's wrong, it's gaining speed, it's not stopping. Oh my lord, we better do something with quick or be <laughs> or as flat as a hoe kick. What's a hoe kick? And crash. A crazy train appear. <laughs> oh, I forgot about this. It reminds me of like the Hell House from Final Fantasy. It's just like you're fighting this random train. And it's your first fight of the game too, so it's generic RPG combat basically. You got damage spells, heal spells, basic attacks. Yuzu is your monk, so she can just hit things really hard. Regent's your bard, he's got... Oh, so he even has fire. I thought he didn't want to be a wizard. And Clover is our healer, they've got a bunch of skills that recover health. Alright. Very basic combat, very quick though, and nice to see the HP bar at the bottom too, so it keeps it real simple. Combat is definitely not the key part of this game, you know, it's just enough to keep you interested. You get some golden EXP, which is ultimately very inconsequential, and there we go. Unbelievable, thanks to Yell West saves. But there's some bad news. That crash tore this train slap up. I'm throwing all the levers, but she won't budge. On top of that, the train monster's carcass is blocking this here tunnel. Gonna take quite a bit till this train is fixed up and the tunnel cleared. Is bad news, real bad. You were in a hurry, correct? There is one way to get to the coast without using the train. Hey, hey, Benjamin, you're not talking about the cave, are you? That place is bad news. You can't be sending them there. My <laughs> accent's slipping. <laughs> Hush, MacArthur, there is no other way. Besides, this is the hero in his party we're talking about. They'll be fine. Oh, that's true. You guys are real heroes. Y'all are tougher than, tougher than a $2 steak. But you never get me to go, no sir. As I was saying, the only way to get to the port from here is through the mountains. They're tall. Which is why we made a tunnel. A tunnel for train tracks. Going through this tunnel will be the way one would typically get to the coast. But before the tunnel was completed, one would have to walk. Go to the east side of the mountain, and you will find a cave covered in moss. The cave contains a trail through the mountains. However, the trail has not been used for some time. Wild animals now live there. No one goes near there now. I do not even know when what you'll find when you're inside, but I know it is dangerous. Of course you are heroes. Don't let me stop you. Yup, yup, and we'll be here fixing the train. Else we can't get back to, get, <laughs> get back to Stockwood. Gotta be tough to, tough to fix her. We'll be here for a while. You want to take a break? You'll come back now. So this is going to be our inn for a bit. Uh, you can actually rest here and get your health back. Otherwise, this is our first true like JRPG segment of the game. So you do have to go around the overworld, go through dungeons, you know, all that good stuff. Hey, what's going on? You mean to tell me the train is stopped? How are we supposed to get home now? There are demons out here. Some random from the train. Quite a distance between here and the coast. And we stopped smack dab in the middle. What awful luck. There's a merchant in the back. Hopefully they can fix the train before we're rescued. But I don't want to wait here forever. I hope someone helps us soon. And is this guy... Oh, can't get through. This guy's not the merchant. You might not be able to tell, but I'm shaking. My knee is still shaking from the accident. Yeah, we definitely can't tell. Your sprite is stationary. There's Yanagi. Hey, you guys. You guys are on this train too? I was on my way to sell my wares. This is pretty inconvenient. Hey, you guys are in a hurry, right? If you need tools, want to buy some off me? And here's our old mate Yanagi. He's got... A bunch of stuff for us actually. Some damage items, some healing items, rings, which actually there's a lot of choice for. <laughs> there's a lot of different choices here. It's not that significant, but you know, if you want to deck yourself out, you really can. This has never happened to me before. I'm pacing back and forth like crazy. I'm just glad I'm still alive. Good thing the hero was here. And last one, until this train gets fixed, the rest of you comes or whatever, I'm just gonna chill. But hey, I was here first. If you wanna chill, you gotta go someplace else. Yeah, it's funny. I, I love this kind of story where if your hero wasn't on this train or in a different game, like on this boat or plane or whatever, it would have just crashed and nothing would have happened. But you just happened to be in the right place, right time. There, I think, is the maid that we need to help. You know, when you look at the back of the past, you see through rose tinted glasses? Back then it was so tough, but now I think about it, it was so fun. That kind of stuff. Those memories will be beautiful for a long time, so re-experience memories often. Yeah, it's interesting, the theme of this game is memories and remembering stuff. And it's built around this idea of... The games you played in the past are much more fun in your memory than actually in real life, because you don't think about the grinding and you don't think about like the hard bosses and the the stupid design. You think about the good memories you have with it. And so that's, this is why I really like it, is because it's like the fun of an RPG, 
without the hassle of the RPG. Here, if you open the menu of Y and then you press the L, your party will fully recover. One of you will use some MP to recover HP and heal poison and paralysis. It's quick and it works every time. I love it. You guys try it out. This is, I, yeah, this is a great mechanic. I love it so much. You can press L and you just automatically heal up. One of your characters will just use spells or items and it just saves you so much time. Funny thing about memory, it's inaccurate. No one has perfectly accurate memory. So don't fret about stuff like that item you got or how much G you had on you. You probably used it. You just don't remember. Like me, I used all my income already. Relatable. Thank you, Luchador man. This is the first time a train has been has stopped here. It's making me anxious. At least no one got hurt. This will be a story to tell. And now we're on the world map. We can go through this tunnel, and then we'll eventually be at the Moss Cave. There is a treasure chest that someone's already opened. And some broken pots. Flash tries to put the busted train as hard as he can, but it doesn't budge. So this tunnel is well and truly blocked. Looks like we've got to go an alternate way. And you can see the rail tunnel would have gone straight through this mountain range, but because we can't walk through it, we've got to go back around. And I'm pretty sure there's random encounters. I'm like fairly certain there's random encounters. Also, if you walk back up north, you can just get back to your original town. You can buy all the items that were originally there. There's no need to though, so we're just not going to. Oh, there are two. That's also a really cool transition. I like that. It's a rough minecart. Great face. It reminds me, this is super specific, but there was like an arc of Yu-Gi-Oh! where one of the characters had like a deck of cards that was based on trains, and it looks like that. Okay, so here is, I imagine, our moss cave. Port Goparea had used cave. Thank you, sign. Caution, poisonous green Poyoshi live in this cave. If you are poisoned, your HP will gradually decrease in battle. This does not heal over time, use an item or magic. So, Clover has a spell that heals poison, so let's just not bother to buy it. Let's just go through here. It's a very simple looking cave. Nice graphics, though. The little curves remind me a lot of Earthbound. Okay, so demons appeared. What is that? A spring pig and a dirt moai. Just gonna just blast through it. The game's quite easy. Uh, the bards have really bad attacks, so there's no real point using their basic attacks. But also, you can't be bothered to use the spells, because you don't need to, so... It's just, it's just filler. You're really not playing this game for the, for the combat, you know? Here's the green Puyoshi, we've got to make sure we kill it first so it doesn't poison us. Otherwise, the pig is pretty easy. And always, you can just press L to restore your health. The dungeons in this game are actually pretty legit. Like, the decently sized, they feel like what an RPG dungeon feels like. Here's some green Puyoshis again. I'm gonna use fire on one of them, just to make sure that they're not gonna hit us. And we get re-experience the XP, so everyone gets a bit stronger. I think this does carry over. I'm pretty sure this carries over, so you do get stronger cumulatively as the game goes on. Okay, I also swear that there was stuff in pots, but this could just be my experience of RPGs messing with me. Let's just run. Oh, we need to do a command. This is one of this is the thing, right? Every game handles these mechanics a little bit differently. Like whether you run from fights, if it's just immediate, or whether it's um a chance roll, you know? And there are some games that are particularly bad if you haven't played them for a while and you just come back and you can't remember how they work. Like Final Fantasy VIII is a really bad culprit because its level system is so convoluted. So if you forget how it works, you can actually mess up your characters a bit. Here is the maid that we forgot. Sub, why? Where am I? I just wanted to go back to the port, but now I'm, I'm totally lost. Oh, so it's not the maid we're looking for. Treasure box contained metal sword. Is that the sword that we bought in the town? Oh, you just suck. Okay. So I guess we wasted that money. And this is a, uh, an Ippon Nichi game. So it makes sense that the music is really, really good. Wait, hold on. No, I'm wrong. It's published by Ippon Nichi. I think it's developed by someone else. But production values are still really, really high for what is effectively an indie game. It's, uh, it's a lot better than I was expecting when I first got this. 
Okay, so... Like I was saying, the dungeon is, is a lot bigger than you would think it would be. Here's the treasure, got some acute stuff, and sturdy clothing. So listen to anyone playing this game for the first time, don't buy equipment, there's no point, you're just gonna find it in it. It's gonna find it in a dungeon anyway. I hate it when that's how the game determines it, but, you know, sometimes you buy stuff and then you realize, hey, I never needed that. Alright, so we've got equipment on. It doesn't matter that much, actually. This isn't like the early Dragon Quest games or whatever, where a piece of equipment or an extra level is going to make all the difference. It's it's not. But it's just something that helps you feel like you're playing an RPG. And that's, that's all you need right now, isn't it? Okay, so we've got our cheaper stores. Let's keep going. You see, my logic is telling me there's something in that pot. There's got to be something in that pot. Otherwise, why would that pot be there? Oh, there was! Okay. And now we have a horrible bench friend situation where now we think that every single other pot contains something. We didn't find the maid, but let's just finish up this cave. Because I think that, yep, yeah, that's the end of our... It's the end of our episode. We did miss one of the quests, so we lose a bit of EXP, but that's fine because you can actually just come back and replay it at any point, so it doesn't matter that much. It is good to make a few extra slots, just because there are moments later in the game where there's there's splits, like in your regular vision level style, right? Depending on the choice you made, you'll get a different ending. So it's good to be aware of that. And now we get back to our boss fights. That's right, I remember. Gastonbury, a military nation, was experimenting with magic when suddenly a fog appeared and suffocated them. We received a request from the King of Stockwood to check Gastonbury's safety. This was our quest. Huh? Wait a minute, if that was our quest, then why are we fighting the Demon King? If we were simply going to Gastonbury, we should have done that by now. Why do we even have to fight the Demon King? Is our quest not over? Where am I? Ding. Could, could this be? Gastonbury? So the Demon King must have taken over Gastonbury. Alright, now we're getting somewhere. I'll remember everything at this rate. We left Stockwood, went through the caves, and then... Then? What happened after that? Take this. Ha. And so, while we've been having a little reminiscence sequence... <laughs> we've been fighting the Demon King this entire time. It's raiding in an awful power. It's gonna counterattack. What should I do? You've got um, a choice here. I don't really remember what the significance is, but let's just be a coward and jump behind him. No way I can take that hit. I'm gonna go behind him. It is of no use. Take this. He punched the ground. He sent pieces of floor flying. Everyone, get down. Oh, it's such a cool animation. So everyone gets hurt a bit. Why you? What kind of attack was that? We don't know what it's capable of. Let's keep it together, everyone. Clover, help us recover. Sure, leave it to me. And healing spell, and our party comes back to life. Her healing spell is really bad. <laughs> it recovers less than the Demon King's attacks. Hmm, what's the matter? Don't tell me that's all you've got. Damn it, he didn't even feel it. We can't defeat the Demon King with those attacks. Ah, so we have to use our most powerful skill. We have to use our signature move. My magical. Use of secret, use of secret technique. Flash, use of sword. Regent's magic, use of secret technique. My sword. I recognize that look. You don't remember our signature moves, huh? Alright, well, we can't rely on your sword, so just leave it to me and use it to take the offensive. Our signature moves have a lot of openings, though. If we're gonna hit him, someone's gotta be bait. Flash, what should we do? And you pick one of them to be bait. Hmm. Who do I hate more? I... Ugh. You see, Yuzu hasn't done anything wrong yet, but Regent has been a funnier and better character. It's interesting, it's kind of like that decision you make in those games, right? Like, do you hate Yosuke more, or do you hate Chie more? Or, what? what is another good example? Do you hate Yuffie more, or do you hate Barrett more? I don't know. I'm gonna make use of debate. Okay, I'll be the bait. She's so happy about it. <laughs> be careful though, seriously. If you take one punch for the Demon King, don't you worry. I'll show you what all that training was good for. Regent, hit him with your signature move. Yeah, you got it. I'll get him. 30 seconds. Give me some time. I need some time to charge up my magic. 30 seconds. That is a very impractical move. That is like Dragon Ball Z levels of impractical, where you're just like on the battlefield screaming for 30, 30 seconds. Did I say minutes? 30 seconds. And the boss is just standing there going like, ooh, this is gonna be good. It's gonna be real good. 
Roger that. I'll cover you two. Thanks, Clover. Okay, I'm off. Ha 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 ha. Come and save me. Damn, I can't have users be out here by herself. I'm the hero. Shouldn't I be leading the attack? Damn, hurry, I have to remember. What did we do after we left Stockwood and headed right through the caves? And so we get to another moment. We come back here, and although the first few episodes have been linear, it's not always that way. You know, you jump back and forth in time, and you see the story in this really fragmented way, and you piece it back together. Yes, we're out of the cave. Ooh, the sun is so bright. I thought that cave was supposed to be dangerous. It was a piece of cake. It, it was pretty dark in there. She's got her shadow eyes. But we're just beginning our journey. I have to work harder. That's right, Clover, just the beginning. Now let's get to the coast. Queen's Wine for a Man of the Sea. I do not remember this quest at all. I have no idea. But we can go back and actually see... Oop. These are really cute enemy designs. I really like that. There's a big head dragon, there's a rough minecart, there's a rush mouse. I love that rush mouse thing, it's just like, let's go! <laughs> Great. Okay, and continuity, we can come back here and it's the same tunnel as before. So we can rush through and we are on the other side of this train, but we can't move it still, so there's no point. You know, you could really just break that pot if you already wanted to, but video game logic, right? Video game logic. I'm gonna rush down here. In another game, this would be a suspicious location. But here, it's just minecarts. And I think between those two episodes, we gained some levels. Yeah, I think we did. And so we're theoretically a bit stronger than before. Okay, so it looks like we're going this way. Oh, that's so cool. The enemy animations are so good. Okay, one last one, and we've already got our first palette swap. It's not a Rush Mouth, it's a Smash Mouth. A Smash Mouth. wonder if that's a Smash Mouth joke. Okay, so now we're in our fun little port town. Not a single bite. Is it the pole? Maybe the bait? What's our quest for this one? Cross the sea to reach Gastonbury. Deliver lunch to the sailors in the port and listen to the old man's requests. Okay, I think what I'll do is I will leave it here. I know I haven't seen a whole lot of the game, but we've looked at the main mechanics, we've looked at the main setup, and yeah, it's reminded me of how much I enjoy not just this game, but just JRPGs in general, right? I love appreciating art, I love appreciating music and interesting story twists, and this game has all of that in a very accessible package. So if you're the kind of person that doesn't have the time to dig into a huge complicated RPG, then this is a good pick, because it does the heavy lifting of making you feel like you're playing an RPG without the actual effort of doing so. And if you grew up on things like Dragon Quest and Final Fantasy, then the jokes in this game are going to land really well for you. And of course, if you're not as familiar, I would say maybe play something else first, because this game really relies on you being familiar with that genre and enjoying the stuff that, you know, all the SNES and the uh, early GRPGs had to offer. It's very traditional, it's very trope laden, it's got a lot of in jokes, but for the right person, I think this is a really, really interesting game. Alright, so thanks for joining us, I will see you guys next week. This video took long to edit.